Chopper 5 has been monitoring an operation to bring those test kits from that cruise ship off the Bay Area coast. Right now we're looking at a landing zone at the Richmond Fire Department training facility. This is on Cutting Boulevard. And this is where that National Guard helicopter will be touching down with those test kits. Uh, less than 100 people were tested on board the Grand Princess. And those tests should be turned around within a matter of hours. We're going to continue to monitor these live pictures as soon as we do see that chopper touch down. We'll bring you an update. Yeah, we're told 35 passengers and crew being tested. We have another live camera monitoring the front of the State Department of Public Health Lab. This is where the samples from those passengers and crew on the Grand Princess will undergo their formal testing. Now, testing that once took days can now be analyzed within just a matter of hours. It's one of 16 labs in the state. Now, scientists are going to work to confirm whether anyone on board tests positive for the coronavirus. And right now we're also tracking the progress of the Grand Princess as it does head slowly to San Francisco. Right now it's only moving about 10 knots. It's west of the Farallon Islands. Again, those test results will determine when or if that ship will be cleared to pull into San Francisco Bay and pull up to the dock. We have team coverage on the new coronavirus cases in the Bay Area. Let's start. Andrea Borba on the cruise ship and those sick passengers. Andrea? Well, Alan, at this point, the question is where exactly where will the Grand Princess dock? Where will it birth? That, of course, that question will be answered by the test results that we are expecting from the State Department of Public Health any moment now as they are going to drop those off in Richmond. We also spoke to passengers aboard the cruise ship who say they are in a waiting game and want to go home. New video just in shows a National Guard helicopter meeting up with the Grand Princess cruise ship off the Monterey County coast. Members of the 129th Rescue Wing out of Moffett Field rappelling down to the deck of the ship, delivering COVID-19 test kits. From staterooms aboard the Grand Princess, stranded passengers could see the operation. I don't know if you can see, I got a, I got a little window right there. So we saw, I saw the helicopter and the, the, there was a plane also flying around the ship. Um, for uh, maybe 20 minutes or so. A total of 35 passengers and crew members aboard the ship are now symptomatic for the disease caused by the coronavirus. Chris Grady boarded the Grand Princess on February 21st in San Francisco. He says he knew something was up after the cruise left the big island of Hawaii. I spoke to him via Facebook Messenger today. Because there's a, there's a channel on the TV that shows where the ship is going, and I noticed it we were going straight towards Mexico and then all of a sudden just kind of turned and headed towards San Francisco for a few hours. So I knew something was kind of up. As of this afternoon, all passengers aboard are being asked to stay in their rooms. Grady says information about what's been going on has been hard to come by from Princess. I, I definitely feel like I've been kept in the dark a little bit because I've learned a lot more by, you know, going online and just reading what's going on here. They've been pretty vague. Um, I'm not sure if they're just trying not to, you know, scare people. In San Francisco today, city, state and federal officials are trying to figure out what to do with the ship and its passengers. Until then, it's not being allowed back to its home port here in San Francisco. Once we have results from the tests, the CDC and the state will determine the most appropriate location for the ship to berth. And that will, the location needs to provide for the safety of the surrounding community as well as the passengers and crew. Grady says Princess has offered $300 onboard vouchers, but he's not sure how he can use it if he can't leave his room. It's a good thing he doesn't have a balcony. I might have tried to swim. I don't know. Now, Grady says he has been told by the Princess folks that all food service will happen as a room service from now on until they get to whatever port they are directed to, whether it is here at Pier 27 in San Francisco or elsewhere. Live on the Embarcadero tonight, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.